Hello friend, how are you? I hope you are doing well. God will give you more happiness for you all. This is your host Khan Baba and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I try to my level best to give you latest update about Dinar. Please like and share my video with your friend and family which will help me for supporting. So let's start the today information. Today, Friday, November 10th, 2023, an informed source revealed new details. Regarding the visit of U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken to Baghdad, the meeting lasted for about five continuous hours and included meetings with political elites. Secrecy surrounded the visit noting that his wearing of armor and riding in a military helicopter with his work team. This is evidence that he came within an atmosphere of alert war because he was afraid of any surprises. He pointed out that some elites from Iraq stressed an urgent message to Blinken that if the situation is not contained in Gaza, then the explosion in the Middle East is just a matter of time away, especially with the White House's complete bias in favor of Israel and its failure to condemn the killing and wounding of more than 30,000 Palestinians within four weeks in Gaza and the rest of the cities. What the U.S. Secretary of State heard during his visit to Baghdad is worrying, especially since his administration's position on the events in Gaza cannot be ignored in light of the continuous bloodshed that has sparked anger for all Iraqi components without exception, and the escalation of the targeting of bases is very likely, especially with the position of the Sadrist movement, which did not, it wouldn't be surprising. What else is new in Iraq? The Parliamentary Finance Committee renewed its support for the central bank's measures to control the exchange rate. This tells us they are still on board and working with the CBI towards the common goal or the eventual reinstatement on Forex. I firmly believe the Finance Committee working with the CBI will get it right and finally be able to stop the surge of dollars into the economy that keeps the dollar rate high and the dinar rate low. The solution in there and I hope they can execute on it prior to January. When they told us there will be no more dollars used, even in paying for import trading, which is today about 200 million US dollars a day. Will other trading partners live up to the agreements in the use of the own currencies? For trade outside of the dollar, if Iraq can manage to get these agreements executed upon when needed next year, if not before, then they will no longer need the $200 million dollars to pay for imports. Instead, they can take the dollars and convert them to the country's currencies they are trading with. This helps create demands for other countries' currencies too as well as the Iraqi dinar thus everyone makes out and can prosper if done correctly. Also, we know that future growth also depends on having a stable rate. Conducive to the real and current market economy not some hope wish list of the future. Goodbye and take care.